What's good, YouTube? It's the 510 Shooter. We're about to go out today. Gonna go chill with my boy Max on this little adventure. He's picking me up right now. It's about like 5.45 in the morning. Way too early for me. But stick around, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and let's get it. Max, Max, Max. How's it going? What's up, what's up? Uh, should I just throw this stuff yeah, back there? Yeah, I'm just throwing it in the back. Hi, how's it going? How are you? I'm good. We're recording for the YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Getting that good vlog in. Yes, sir. Oh, I didn't know you had the red interior in here, too. Sure do. Oh, how'd you sleep? Barely any. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't finish till super late last night. I figured. So um, I wanted to make sure they were like prepped for the day. Mm -hmm. So I stayed late and um, got home. Is this your first day not being at the bakery? Yeah. Since it opened? Since opening is the first day. Wow. I want to make sure that they're good, you know? He's nervous today. Well, I sure am. I've never been, I've been on like, I filmed before, but not live. You know, that's a whole different category. Yeah. There is no retakes. There is no, <laughs> you mess up, it's done. You know what? Um, I was talking to the one of the producers yesterday and she says that she's gonna show you, she's gonna take you behind like the big cameras so you can get all the best shots. Like she's gonna give you all the best shots. I love it. That's what I was wondering though. I was like, um, I didn't know for sure how much access I was gonna have to actually recording everything that you guys are doing over there. I didn't know how all that works with like, uh, not necessarily laws, but like their, their rules, you know? Right. Some people are kind of stingy about what you can show, what you can't show. Right, right, so I talked to them, they said that we were good to go, we can film and do all the behind the scenes we want. And they were actually gonna give you guys like, more access. Well, you're gonna be there like right by the side of things. Not like on set. Yeah, but, but you know, like where people watch. Where we can see, yeah. I am definitely looking forward to it. You know, it's gonna be an experience for all of us. It's gonna be an adventure. Let's get it. Hop off a 16 passenger. This a G5. No, this not a challenger. Big one. I keep some members with me in the fridge. The coat seats, they some cannibals. Eaters. They like the geek geek. Drink a whole bottle, wake up and repeat. She took a look, mixed it with the chill out. Now she says she said 3D. I go in the jungle and they got a coat. I bet I come out with a meme. I bet I do this for the fam. Cause it's bigger than me. Big. Color stones in my infinity link. And in the factory masterpiece. I call on twin, could that be my brother? We got the same role. Morning. We have a couple of boxes. Is it okay? I'm not sure how far the walk is. It's just like the elevator. I can help you guys with it. Sounds good. Where's a good place to park when we're done loading? Um, it's usually just like street parking right now, so anywhere that's available. Fine, but I got okay. I'm so cool. Fully prepared. Everything in there. <laughs> it's exactly how I imagined it, and I haven't even seen the set yet. <laughs> 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 I think that just might be thirst because I'm kind of thirsty too. I need to get water. Man, they really are right. That background is real. I thought it was a backdrop before. Oh, the one. In yeah, the bridge and yeah. everything. I always thought that that was like just a green screen or something. Right. Oh, sun's coming up. I'll take the sun over the rain. Yeah, any day. Freezing. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cold. I filmed before, so this should be a breeze. It's not your first time on camera. No, and I've been on set for over multiple hours. This is just three minutes and 30 seconds. God, I'm so cold. I don't yeah. know how to shake these jitters, man. I don't know why I get so nervous. Honestly, I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> I don't know why I put myself in these situations. It's the biggest stage I've been to, so. I'm not even the one on camera. How the hell am I gonna do this? Should I have made a, a right? 
and like came back around because this is gonna take me straight. Okay. Might as well. For sure, are these parking? Yeah, is yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, it don't matter. We walk over here after and then drive back. We'll be all right. Oh shit! That's a curb. Yeah, this would be good, really. Yeah. Now, which meter is which? <laughs> this one, right? Alright, let's get to stepping. Good thing is we're way early, so don't have to worry too much. Oh, the jitters! The jitters! You don't got nothing to worry about getting bipped, right? <laughs> <laughs> Your car out here is a bit magnet. <laughs> Have you ever gotten bit before? Nope. Not on wood. No, yeah, hopefully not today. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> not going to work. no chances. I was hoping that parking right in front was going to work, but man, they won't. Don't bring your nice cars to San Francisco. That's the one thing you should not do. Right. I mean, Especially in this case, like that, people are gonna be like, "Damn, what are they hiding?" In this case, you don't really have a choice, though. So what do I do? What's that? Okay, so what do I do? Um, I'm a baker. I do custom cakes and all that stuff. I just open up a bakery in downtown New York. Okay. So they're doing the whole segment on my journey because I'm a part of the business summer, so open up a, a business in downtown New York. And oh. a lot of beer. Okay, so, thank you. I appreciate it. He's only 22. Oh, shit. So, for the journey. Right. Yeah. We're on the cars on YouTube? Yeah, actually, no, it's in the back. Oh, we just yeah. On our way down, I'll bring one. Okay. Thanks, boss. All right. All right. All right. Thank you, you too. We got 40 minutes until we get level here. Oof. Is. 703. I thought it was me shaking. It's just the elevator. Right. <laughs> I was like, why am I nervous? We're in San Francisco. Yeah. We don't want an earthquake, especially when we're in the building. Shoot, being in your bakery would be worse during an earthquake. You're right on the fall. Like, seriously, I didn't even think about that. Nothing can be worried about my list. Yeah. It's a real view, too. It's like it's just a green screen. Right. <laughs> you're going to start recording it and you're going to start seeing like what else. It's going to start glitching. Yeah. <laughs> Like it literally all starts, just so get into it. So. I'm telling you, like I filmed before many times, but it's just live TV gets me. Oh, because I've never done live TV before. Mm -hmm. So, oh, we'll kill it. We'll all be there. We're gonna support it. It's not his first time on camera. He'll be all right. He sounds That's nervous now. No. You're gonna be like a natural, what, like right when it goes like pans to you. Right. Don't be nervous. To be honest, the more chill. I'll see okay. Yeah. Wow. I'm definitely gonna check it out. Awesome. Yeah. Please come by. Yes, of course. What would you bring? Bring all my people. Cynthia. Cynthia. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably. Are you? I guess you're always on Monday, right? Oh, just kidding. Yeah, Tuesdays through Saturdays. Okay, I might come by because I'm also an advisor for a sorority. Okay. Um, at East Bay. Okay, I went to East Bay for two years. Oh really? I almost went to Southwest Open Bakery. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, right? Right, right. I think you would be better. I appreciate it. Yeah, go ahead. Mama Max. I'm so excited. It's crazy. I wanted to be in a TV show, like like a racial way. I wanted to be in an Ellen, but she's not there anymore. Yeah. I want him to be a judge. Very interesting. So, what is Dr. Max. So, Anne Marie, what is the main...
Thank you. So, here's a t-shirt. I don't want to stretch it. I don't want to get blamed for that. I'm going to stretch all my t-shirts. So, okay. And we don't have a ton of time, so I'm going to need you to get in position relatively soon. And you standing on that side, perfect. Put that back and you can give that to me. Oh, thanks. Once I put the end up, this, you know, this, you want to go this far. Okay. Oh, God. You that gotta come fly. He's gonna be on live TV. <laughs> and the people who run this place won't be very happy. Right. It's like okay. the guests. So, so your, your basic mark is here. And don't look at the camera. Just talk, you know, show what, okay. do what you're gonna do. And talk, and talk to you. You're on TV. You're yes. just at the Food Network. The live, the live. Don't worry, it's a conversation. It's different when they can edit it out. Right. Do you, have a, do you have a favorite cookie? This baby idol? Buddy Bull Ashram. That's like how I started. This is okay, a, a cool. cake slice, but it's blocking everything in the front. So. Oh, I'll hold it. We did your stories. Oh, I brought that up. Because I, 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 I got, you know, when, you said, when they talk to me, it's this for girls. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. Is it from that cake boss? That's the is reason this why pineapple it's upside down cake? It sure is. Okay, that's mine, everyone. <laughs> guys, that is my favorite cake on the planet. Hi, Max. How's it going, guys? We're doing this. Justin, don't be jealous. Oh, I'm jealous. Why are you guys jealous? It's your guys' stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that hurt to make for him was the Niners cupcakes, the, personally. Um, <laughs> We're East Bay natives, you know. Maybe put them like... All right, we are just getting everything all set up here because look at all this delicious food. Crystal, thanks for being here. Of course, the pleasure of this is on my own Like, super honored to be here. Well, this, I cannot get over how beautiful and delicious and just the smell right now. So, of course, tell us about your appearance on the Food Network. I mean, a lot of people dream of just having that opportunity. How did it jumpstart your career? So, um, I was inspired really young when I was nine years old when I started watching Cake Boss on Food Network and, you know, all those competitions. And I was like, you know what? I'm an art student and I love doing cakes and you know kind of went hand in hand so um, I was like let's do this and I got started and you know time tells and here we are. And I think it's very important that you brought this up that you got this interest and passion when you were very young because a lot of people told you that maybe this wasn't the right career for you because it's something a lot of females or girls would do. Right, right. There was like a lot of stigma for some reason I feel like when it comes to culinary people felt like that was more of a female job but you know I never let the criticism I got you know, steering out my trip. I was just motivated. I knew what I wanted to do. And I, I knew I had plans, and here we are. Well, thank goodness, yeah. because <laughs> we wouldn't have all of this right here. So you're born and raised in the Bay Area. How, what does it mean to actually open up a business here at home? You know what? It's really a monumental moment, and it's very, you know, full circle. Because out of everywhere we could have went, I looked in other cities, and, you know, it didn't feel right. Nothing was working out because, you know, I just, I feel like Haley was meant to be. That's where it started and that's where it going to continue. And having my brick and mortar right in the center of downtown Hayward is really where it was meant to be. It is such a huge accomplishment and you're only, what, 22 years old? 22 years old. Okay, tell me how proud mom is of you right she's now. She's proud. She's watching from the sidelines right now, so she's very, very proud. She is, and she was just here helping you set up all yes. these cakes and yes. stuff like that. Does she ever help you out at your business as well? Or? Of course. She's doing supply runs. She's in the kitchen. She's washing dishes, whatever I need, she's right there beside me. And that's how it's been since I started, so I really got to thank her for that. Oh, I love that. All right, so how are you hoping to inspire other young men to get involved if this is their passion, if this is where they're headed? I just got to say, you know, get started. Um, there's no specific timeline. It's whenever you're ready. I started young, but I truly want to inspire the younger crowd because I feel like that's what really helped me kickstart my career. I just started so young. I, I had a plan, and you know, you just got to go for it. Don't let the criticism phase you because you know, if you so focus so much on what people say, you really want fans. And I really had that tunnel vision of that. This is what I want to do. And you obviously are very good at what you're doing because to make it on the Food Network, you have to have some talent. Yeah. Do you experiment a lot with flavors? Let's talk about what, like, yeah. what's happening yes. here. Because, like, for all, pineapple upside down cake is my all time favorite. And it's so good. But it's not that easy sometimes to make. So right. let's talk about what we've got here. So I would say this. Well, we can start with the coconut cream cake. That's like, you know, my palate has, has been changing. I never really was a coconut fan in the beginning, but as I started baking, I started tasting more, I started experimenting more, and the coconut cream has really left an impact on my taste buds. But we do got a wide variety. Pineapple to down, he said, you can't go wrong with it. It's a classic. And then, got a shout out my mom, Monica's Lemon Supreme Cake. She is responsible for that one. That's a big hit at a bakery. And, um, you know, just, we got a wide variety. I really wanted to cater to everyone and everyone's different palates when it came to flavors. Well, what I would love to see is your bakery flourish and thrive because this is amazing. And also, maybe you get your own show one day. Yeah, right? 
Because the Niners cut pink. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The Niners cut pink. Yeah. 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 Sunday. Yes, yes, like so we can try this? Oh yeah, of course. You guys can feel free to dig in. Um, I'll tell you guys your diet ends today if you have one because you're not going to want to miss out on this. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't follow the script. <laughs> do we get pictures and everything? Oh, pictures. Right. Um, I did not grab one yet. Come on, grab everybody. one. I'm just grabbing. They're right now they're trying to decide what they want. That's, that's what you're Yeah, get the Niners yeah. cupcakes and send it to the Niners so we can get, yeah. get in with them. I didn't think that you were a Raiders oh, fan. Right, right. Just to get in here. Mom, yeah, mom, I think you need to be in the picture. Yeah, yeah. mom. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you got right to. Right in the middle. Come on in. Be right next to your son. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your never Nice. Thank you so much for coming in. I'm going to steal this red velvet right here. Is any of you guys let us know? Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this like Oreo? Yes. Yeah, so oh, let me give you guys an idea of what these are. So we have Oreo, which is a chocolate cake with a uh, Oreo mousse center. Oh and then we have Buñuelo, which is the cinnamon scroll cake with a dulce de leche filling. We have salted caramel, vanilla, hummingbird, which is such an underrated flavor. It's a, a pecan, pineapple, banana cake. Interesting. With a cream cheese frosting. This one? Yes, that one I did. Now, All right. I only brought one today for our item that sells out every single day. I know. I'm not going to eat it yet. Oh. I still got to do a show. Oh, you be careful. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Ah! Which one is this? I'm taking it. That's going to be my It's almost like a churro. Good stuff. Pineapple. I knew it would eventually get there, but it's just, it was, it's really like, special. Yeah. Because, like, I never thought the cake was going to be Are you good one, John? It really was, like, I was just doing it out of my kitchen, doing it at the school, all the person, but here it really makes me feel like I'm I'm breaking those boundaries. You, you know? are, and thank yeah. God. Because yes. people need to have it. Yes. 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 Thank you. Yes, you are. Thank you. You're Latino? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Do you use like recipes from your yeah. family? Yeah. Like, so, the, the cheesecake, so it's not your traditional cheesecake. Okay. You're going to grow it back home with a Mexican cheesecake because I've seen it like that. Um, so it's very, it's not like American cheesecake, it's like, super tall. It's very small and it has a different texture and it's sour cream top. Um, it's, it's really good, and that's just the best cheese I go to. So when I had a regular cheese, it was like a little bit of a uh, uh, culture shock, you know? But we did a horchata cheesecake, which is right here. That's a good one. It is the abuelitas Mexican hot chocolate bunny. Stop, that's not it. That's like so no way. And you're representing, like, right. you know, you don't see a lot of Latinos always being able to do that, especially um, being able to like incorporate your traditional dishes. So right. Very right. And I do, I really want to incorporate because I feel like it's when you come to the bakery, so it's just like you're you're seeing my family, the background of the family, and, what, and you're literally seeing your family there. Yeah. <laughs> we're literally, we're there. Thank you. Oh, I thought it was Oreo. That is Oreo. Which one did you get? Red velvets. You want? You can see what's back here. Tour. That's why I couldn't. I was texting. Nice to tour, really. <laughs> it's exactly how I imagine, just like the movies. Last night at an emotional vigil, Nichols family called for peaceful dinner. Well, speaking of 49ers, we have some deliciousness here on the table. 49er cupcakes plus this pineapple looks like. Max Soto, the owner of Max Cakes, was here just a little bit. Look at this. I mean, hi, look at that. Um, the I know, let's show the Niners one too. He was just in studio yeah. a little yeah. while ago. Can I get in the right perspective? Where do I go here? Okay, yeah, that's there. There we go. Um, and just bringing, he, I mean, he was 22 years old, opened his own bakery in Hayward. He was featured on the Food Network. So he came in to bring us this and yes. turn on the Niners and, of course, to share his delicious. And it's not just the looks, it tastes good. You guys have already, yeah. like, yep. this is so, my breakfast. Jess, you have, what, a crumb left? <laughs> I'm, I'm about with you. I've got maybe two crumbs. <laughs> I haven't even started. <laughs> no shame, it's Friday. It's Friday, enjoy it. Well, you guys keep enjoying that, and everyone get a cup of coffee and check out Max Case. <laughs> Thank you. And live at that. Yeah. But you had people literally posting, I would see your guys' stories, yeah. that you're airing. Yeah, tons of people. You have you fans. Oh, yeah, we made sure that everybody knew. I had my mom record it. <laughs> my girl was watching. Stephanie was telling me, clip this. You need to. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, Alicia was watching live. She texted me this morning. I told her, I was like, good morning. And she was like, I'm ready to watch. What? They're in the break room. Oh, okay. Thank you. Bye. 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 Success. I'm telling you, it was that the was best. Now, the only thing that we got to make sure is a success is that you didn't get bit, and then we'll be good. Oh, right. my God. Here's our system, you know, my car didn't broke into Oh, my God. Listen, I park my car outside all the time, okay. so. Good to know. <laughs> good intuition. Yeah, yeah but his his is, looks like a Target. Yeah, my car is definitely a Target. Why? What is it? It's, it's a Range Rover. It's tinted out. <laughs> wheels. Yeah. It's right. what you deserve. Well, no, not the... Not that. <laughs> it's no, not no, the Range Rover? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Thank you. Thank you. We outside. Yay! In the done. daytime. So now I can check off the light TV on my list. Yeah, for real. Thank you so much. We got it. Well, thank you so much for coming. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Whenever you visit, what's been the best? I'll ask for you. Okay, sounds good. I'll be there. Yes. Alright, thank, so thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Everything Uh, get over. You're gonna go straight and then go right at the next slide. All right. Thank you so much. You said everything came out so good. Hey, is All right, you guys. I'm gonna instruct it. Huh? Who's on the court? It's me, Ricky, and my mom. Morning. You guys are being filmed right now. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going straight? Right, no, okay. straight? Okay, guys, I gotta talk to you guys later. I'll see you when I get to the bakery. Okay. Alright, bye. There's some crazy. That's the support team. Right. Yeah. If we order? Yeah, Max. I'm sorry? Max, M A X. A S? Max, M A X. Max? Sorry. Jeez. I'll be 56 in the second window. Thank you. I always have to say M A X because then they'll put Matt. Mm -hmm. They'll put M A T T or, or Matt. something. Yeah. Or Mac, no? Yeah, or M A C. <laughs> you know what? To be honest, I'm surprised at how many people were here this early. Yeah. Uh, me too. But I mean, I guess it's never too early for chicken. <laughs> right. And you can eat those strips cold too if you wanted to. They don't taste bad. No, they're good all it's the like time. Bring your camera. I'm gonna be like the filming never ends. Yep. Man, they closed this spot down inside for the longest time. I don't know if it's open now, but like they would not let us go eat inside. I think they probably had some more drama and stuff in here. You know what's all funny? Every time I come here, the employees are fighting. I'm saying, yeah, I think that's time. why they closed it because like they got so much drama. Right. I and went to, um, when we were right here, because they had the two lanes, they were fighting, literally fighting, saying, um, what was she saying? It was something about giving a wrong order to another person. She's like, no, you are not going to play me like that. I know what the fuck I gave you. Like, uh, they were going back and forth. I mean, my sister were just like, <laughs> can I have my chicken, please? <laughs> we were just watching. It was like dinner and entertainment. They're, That's they're so always awesome. yelling at each other, though. Every time we come, it's, they're always yelling at something. It's the thing to do. All right, y'all, if you made it this far, you probably watched the whole video. That means you liked it. So do me a favor. Go down, like the video, leave a comment. Leave me some feedback, subscribe to the channel, and then stay tuned for more. Me and Max got more content coming. I wasn't able to record an outro with him. He was kind of in a rush today. He had to go do a little, little business, but I appreciate you guys watching. I'm out.